Romel, I guess you, you made the, the big catch with on, on in the game on Saturday, the full extension. Just kind of, can you kind of take us through that play and, and how many times have you gone back and watched it since Saturday? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I watched it a lot, but um, going through the play, like um, I got a clean release. It was a speed release. Um, I stacked him a little bit. Um, and when the ball was in the air, I really wasn't trying to dive for it. I was trying to like run under it, but I kind of seen like the flight of the ball was going a little far. So I just like kind of just stretched out for it a little bit. And then I just like looked it in because, <clears throat> you know, I, I catch a lot of deep balls like at the practice and like over the uh, summer and all that. But so you, so you can like kind of tell like the flights, flights of the balls, different flights of the ball. So just repping that and just like catching the ball, looking it in, and just it was just like practice something like that. You know, filling in for Cedric, you're only going to get so many opportunities to make plays like that. I'm curious to know hours after the game, what's what's your feeling that you uh, that you took advantage of that, that you you had your chance and you accomplished that? Uh, yeah, it was it was a good feeling. You know, I'm I'm thanking God every every single day, even when things were going bad. But he just made the opportunity for me, like to show showcase like what I can do. I, I had like a similar ball like that in Georgia, um, but. You know, it was like that, like during that time period, I wasn't really like locked in with God, locked in like on the field and things like that. So I didn't make that play. So I just had to readjust. And then like when the opportunity came this time, I made it. So thankful for that. Ramel, curious what specifically any of the coaches or maybe even your teammates said about that catch, I mean, other than just great catch, good job. What? <laughs> What, what did they say to you about that catch? Uh, yeah, um, Coach Pope, he was like, yeah, I worked for that one. Um, cause like the whole off season, like we was, we was working all the receivers really. But um, yeah, like we just worked for that. So, I mean, it, it wasn't like, ooh, like, I mean, we got to continue to make them plays, but you know, we don't want to be like a, a one catch guy. Like we got to be consistent with that. That was the main thing, just coming back, being more consistent with the plays. So, yeah. And uh, Coach Hypo was talking about the trust that Hendon has in you. Can you take us through that, the evolution of how long it, you think it, it took for Hendon to build trust with you and the work you guys have put in that area? Uh, yeah, I'll say more like last year, we didn't really work as much, like all the quarterbacks and receivers. But like this year, like what, um, this off season, like everybody was really working together and like really putting the time in. So. It's just natural for like any quarterback to throw any receiver, so it's just better. So, with Joseph, Noah, and then Wes. Well, Mel, what's the relationship between you and the rest of the guys in that receiving room, and then obviously Kelsey Pope as as y'all's coach? And how have y'all kind of grown through these first four weeks of the season? I feel like we grew. We came more together, not like football wise, but just like intellectually wise, like just knowing how this person thinks, like how they gonna react to this situation. Like we all know each other, like we can joke around with each other, like it won't be nothing, but we still wanna get better at the same time. Like we know how to flip the switch on and off. So that's a good thing in the meeting room. So, and like off the field, like I know, I, I don't really go out like that, but you know, <laughs> but like as a receiver group, I know that like we hang out um, a lot. Um, I know they do, but just like we all came together like more than how we did last year, so yeah. Ramel, when you see a guy like Princeton Fant fumble the ball early and then coaches put him back out there and he makes a critical play right before your catch, I mean, as a player, what kind of trust, the trust the coaching staff has in you guys, what's that do for your confidence as a player? Um, you know, it's just a next play mentality. Like, some bad is going to happen in the game. We don't know what it's going to be. But you got to learn how to respond to uh, adversity. You know, that's, what, that's the main thing that you harp on. Like, next play mentality, like, you might mess up one play, like, but it's the next play that counts. So. You just gotta have a, a a good memory. I mean, I mean, a, a fast memory. Just like forget forget the play, move on to the next one, maybe the next one. Cause you know the next play could change the whole game. So you never know. Ramel, kind of a, a two-parter here. How, when you were struggling at times in your career, what do you think were the things that were leading to that? Was it things that were going on with you, or just learning the offense, or, or something else? And and also, this is an area where the transfer portal, a million guys go in and out of it all the time. Mm -hmm. You were a guy playing behind Cedric Tillman, and you stayed. What, what went into that decision? Um, 
I just prayed, asked God like what I should do. <clears throat> and he just showed me what I could do. And I had to self-reflect, like I really wasn't working that hard, so I couldn't be mad at me. Like, I mean, I was still working, but I wasn't pushing myself to like new levels. So I couldn't get mad at the situation. So I just had to readjust and work a little harder. So when my opportunity came, I could take advantage of it. But um, I could still, I still like learn from like watching said, like watching Devontae Valis, like it wasn't nothing bad. Like I'm still learning, trying to get better from just watching, but you, had, you still got to put the work in. So that's what I had to do. Ramel, obviously you don't want to play without said, but on the other hand, was it kind of nice as a receiver group to, to go out there and, and still have the same results and, and just show how deep the wide receiver room is? Yeah, uh, our room actually is real, real, real deep. Um, it just, like if somebody go down, the next person to come up, it shouldn't be no drop off. Like we all get coached the same, we all go to practice, like it shouldn't be no drop off. Like you should be able to put anybody in there and it should be the same result. Like. It shouldn't be, oh, we he the backup, like, it's not going to be the same. Like, no, it's going to be the same. Like, everybody can play. So, you know, we good at the, at the um, receiver group. Ramel, last, last week, knowing you were going to probably start and, and get a lot of opportunities, did you change anything during the week, knowing that Cedric wasn't going to play? Uh, no, I, man, I just kept my same routine. Um, you know, I, I, I've, I've been doing it. I mean, I, I started a new, a different routine this year, but I just kept my same routine, um, tried to, I mean, I, I still had like a little more focus with it and did a little extra, but just staying on track, staying on my same routine, just being consistent with it. What, what, have, what have you changed about your routine? Is it just like a game week kind of thing? Yeah, it's game week. Like, I just want to make sure I get my catches in, like making sure like I'm getting my uh, feet right on my releases. Like, and during like Andy periods, taking advantage of that, because we only get so many like with the bags and things like that with the coaches and having like a dummy like work with you. So you got to take advantage of those, but and take put extra attention into it. So, you know, when the game comes, you're not really thinking about it. And I know like in the game, I still have some plays. I know y'all probably can see it because y'all, um, it's on the film, but I still got to work on some things like in the boundary, like you press and you getting the, and get, um, getting the outside release, like trying not to get washed out and being like tight off him and like getting vertical and stuff like that, so. And going back to your catch, did you surprise yourself at all? I mean, it was looked like full extension. You look, you caught it with your, like your fingertips. Did you, were you surprised when you, you came up with it? Uh, I mean, I wasn't like surprised, but like it felt good. It was like, <laughs> it felt good catching that one. But I wasn't like surprised because like I knew, I, I seen the ball the whole way. And like when I caught it, I was like, okay, we good. Just keep it off the ground. I had a similar ball like that before, like a while back where um, I didn't really take it off the ground and the ground made it bounce up. So I just learned from that and then readjusted and Finish. made the play this time. Ramel, can you talk about the aspect as receivers where you guys have some options out there based on what you're re seeing in, from the defense and making sure you're on the same page with, with Hendon Hooker? How, how much of an adjustment is that? Um, it's just like repetition. Um, you, you just got to learn how to like react, like well, like my my problem is I try to like think too much and try to assess the situation. You just got to go out there and just just play. Like if you playing this way, go this way. If you playing this way, go that way. Like and just go out there, have fun, ball out. Just don't try to put too much pressure on it because you know we practice it a lot. Just go out there and just do it. Like I mean, we practice it with the QBs too. Like they like we'll go out there and just run a route, an uh, option route, and they don't know which one we running. So. Like doing that a whole bunch of times, so like the time it can be right in the game. So we just keep doing that. Anything else for Mel? Two more, Eric and then Joseph, and that's it. Confidence-wise, you know, where, where are you right now, and has that been a thing that you've struggled with throughout your career? Uh, I, I kind of, yeah, I say probably like my second, yeah, like my second year. Um, I just had to like deal with things mentally and like learn how to control that because um, it will affect like how you play and things like that. But once you like know the problem, just you got to know how to like fix it so it won't keep lingering and just you know just keep messing you up. So, but I like I don't, I don't have a problem with adversity though because you know I feel like God gonna have my back either way. So I'm straight. Ramel, what is the most exciting part about playing in Josh? Hypo's offense and just how fast-paced you guys go. 
Uh, the most exciting thing is that any receiver can pop off at any moment. Like, you don't know who it is. And we thought about a lot. So, you know, we got a number of offense. So it's real It's real fun and exciting to play in and it's real fast. Like, it's just it's just fun to play out there. Even when you practicing, like, it's just fun to be, to be out there, especially when we got good quarterbacks that can throw the ball from anywhere. So it's just like, man, we just balling. So, yeah. Thanks, Thanks everybody. I appreciate it.